Palomo and I are out here this morning to check out this street reconstruction project. Uh, you can see where I'm standing, there's just a, a cement base on this road. As we head up the road this morning, we'll come into the construction crews that are actually building a road out of small squares of brick. So if you haven't seen this before, this could be pretty interesting. So we're going to head on up there and check it out. So along the side of the road here on my left you can see these bags, of cloth bags of bricks that are brought in on a front loader and emptied along the street and then they're hauled by wheelbarrow up to the work site and they begin each section by creating a rectangle that consists of three bricks along both sides of the street and then five bricks in a line across the width of the street and they have created a series of these brick rectangles all the way up the street and then each one has a crew that's working to fill in the bricks inside that rectangle. The next thing they do is run a 4x4 four four down the center of the street and then use it as a guide to run string lines at a 45 degree angle from the center of the street over to the edge going down at about a 3% grade. So these guys are starting to fill in the bricks inside the squares they made with their uh, strings. This, this group started their diagonal lay from the corner. Others begin it from the center of the street. From here you can see the different uh, sections of the street and the progress that they're making on each segment. The cement's being mixed up at the end of the street. And most of the cement is done in the mixer, but they also do it just by hand. And then once the concrete's mixed, they deliver it to the various spots on the work site by bucket usually by bucket, sometimes in a wheelbarrow. You have to shape the bricks on the edge to uh, fit the angle, which they're pretty quick with. They just knock a piece off with the hammer and then drop them into place. So as we continue up the street, there's some sections that are almost done. This one is just getting started. And these guys are running their diagonal bricks starting at the center. Now once the um, bricks are all laid in a section, they lift out the four by four and there's room for exactly two bricks there. Here's a section where the center board has been removed and the bricks have been laid in its place. He's going through and creating a little triangle piece to fill in the last gap. Yep. 
And then once all the bricks have been put in, they then fill in the gaps between them with very wet, uh, almost watery concrete. And the final stage, the final task, I should say, is to clean off the excess concrete and loose concrete that's in between the bricks or it's on top of the brick. They go along with a trowel and just chip it off so that they have a very smooth surface and the brick is exposed. And then a guy comes along with a broom and cleans up the cement dust that's created by this bit of work. These guys are working on putting in a speed bump. So now we're just going to take a quick trip back up the road. <laughs> 